T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Legends Class Warpath Blah, blah, blah. You gotta say all that crap. Anyway, here comes a toy that I've cared about so much that I keep forgetting I own them even though I bought this in the summer. Warpath, tank commander who loves watching his targets go blammo! Anyway, let's get him out of this box. Inside the packaging, Warpath comes with this collector's card, which is the exact same art that's on the, the box. Or the packaging, I should say. Nothing's on the back, of course, you knew that. He also comes with this instruction manual, which I was right in my Chop Shop video. This is a glossed, glossy paper right here. Glossy and smooth Chop Shop comes with a straight newspaper quality paper. Anywho, you get out of here. Here is Warpath. Legends class Warpath. Here's a comparison with Make Toys Rear End, a.k.a. IDW tailgate. They're about the same height. This guy looks 10 times better. Anywho, it's Hasbro. They're cheap and this is only a $10 toy. But Warpath is a decent action figure. If you don't care about the actual real Warpath character from G1, he will be a little bit better, but he doesn't really 100% look like Warpath at all. He even has gray feet. Anyway, this mold was made for Megatron. One of the things I never liked with this mold. Look at these big, gigantic hands. Don't like that. His hands are bigger than his freaking head. In fact, since this is on a mushroom peg and just pops right off, let's compare that. Like, yeah, his fists are bigger than his own daggone head. If you want to have a play element, he's a headmaster. But let's put that head back on. He's mostly gray and maroon plastic. That with a lot of silver paint. A ton of silver paint. Like this part right here is gray, but they painted it maroon. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it is darker than the actual plastic maroon right there. Warpath, what we're used to is him having his cannon, his tank cannon coming out of his chest. They don't have that. It's on his forearm, just like Megatron, which I already mentioned I don't really like. This is painted to gray plastic. But decent robot, his head rotates 360. Watch out, because that, as you saw, how easy I pulled that head off. <laughs> Shoulders on a ball joint, so they go out and rotate. They have a hinge right here if you want to bring them in a little bit, but that breaks the transformation. Ball joint and elbow, nothing at the wrist. No waist joint. Hips kick out that much, kick forward that much. This little molded part right here on the hips bumps right there. It keeps it into place, which I don't know if they intended to do that, but... Hey, that's something. The knees bend less than 90 degrees because this stuff back here bumps. It's very close to 90 degrees. And the feet can do this. But because of the way the feet are designed and the way the ankles are designed, I mean, the foot is designed, and the, the fact that he doesn't have thigh swivel or knee swivel or anything, it's extremely hard to get him standing up in a pose, so you'll definitely have to hold it up. Transformation is fairly simple. You don't have to do anything with the head if you don't want to. Basically, what you need to do is pull this out to the side and rotate. Well, rotate it forward. Heck, and rotate the wrist so that the forearm is in that orientation. Now we rotate this one in, but make sure that the forearm is in this orientation. Bring that down. Plug this little peg right there into his fist. It doesn't stay shut good. I don't like that. Close the feet down like this. Now grab his K 
caps or whatever pull this down like this and one thing that's kind of cool is his legs form the entire tank <laughs> so the fact that they were able to engineer that that's kind of cool anyway now he's a little tiny maroon tank with these little flaps which are his feet out to the side it rolls well as you can see the turret can rotate since this can lift up it avoids hitting this kibble down there but as you turn you'll see his robot body down there and I didn't mention that he does have a little bit of gold paint on his abdomen but <sighs> boring as heck if I didn't run this YouTube channel I wouldn't have bought him because I was never interested in buying this as Warpath and one thing I want to mention I don't know how well you're gonna see this but some of the paint is already coming off right there and I see the gray plastic underneath I don't know whether I rubbed that with this little ball joint right here or whether it just came out the factory like that so yeah unless you're just a die-hard combiner wars collector and you have to collect everything and that's kind of where I'm at right now where I was trying to have a perfect combiner wars line as far as the retail releases I bought this guy but eh, if you're not trying to be a completionist I can't recommend it he's boring and there are other warpath options out there anyway if you like this review give me a like share subscribe definitely comment I read every single comment I'll be lucky if I get more than 30 views on this because this toy is old <laughs> it's been out for a while and if I don't care about him I know probably a lot of other people don't care but anyway if you comment I'll respond tman978 out of here little quick on the fly update on this part of the transformation of course you m I messed up and I'm pretty sure I aggravated a lot of people pull these feet down this way is what you're supposed to do then rotate this back here and close it together it still shows the robot parts there but it's not hanging off to the side like I had it now it's a smaller truck I mean <laughs> tank. Anyway, see ya. Thanks for watching.